مرحبا جميعا Hello again everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel Speak Arabic fluently in a fun and easy way In the last episode, you learned multiple ways to respond to the question How are you in Arabic? In this episode, you are going to learn interrogative words in Arabic هل أنتم جاهزون؟ لنبدأ Are you ready? Let's start The first question word that we are going to take today is what what has two meanings in arabic the first one is ma and the second one is mada ma is used when there is no verb in the question however mada is used when there is a verb in the question for example ma laun al kitab again ma laun al kitab which translates to what color is the book so there is no verb in the sentence. An example for ماذا is ماذا تفعل. Again, ماذا تفعل, which translates to what are you doing. In this sentence, there is a verb which is doing. That's why we used ماذا. The second question word is who. Who means من in Arabic. For example, من هذا Again, من هذا Which translates to Who is this? The next question word is Why? Why is لماذا in Arabic? For example لماذا أنت متأخر؟ لماذا أنت متأخر؟ This is used for males or لماذا أنت متأخرة؟ لماذا أنت متأخرة؟ And this is used for females, which both translates to Why are you late? Another question word is where. Where means أين in Arabic. For example, أين تذهب؟ Again, Aina تذهب This is used for males Aina تذهبين Aina تذهبين This is used for females And both translates to Where are you going? The last question word that we are going to take today is How How means كيف in Arabic However, when you want to ask about the quantity, age, or price, like how much or how many, you use كم instead of كيف. So when you want to ask about the price, you say how much, which means كم ثمن. كم ثمن. An example, كم ثمن هذا الكتاب. كم ثمن هذا الكتاب. Which translates to how much is the book? But when you want to ask about the quantity, you say how many? Which translates to كم عدد كم عدد An example كم عدد الكتب كم عدد الكتب Which translates to how many books? And lastly, when you want to ask about the age of a person, you say how old are you? Which translates to كم عمرك كم عمرك for males or كم عمرك كم عمرك for females Now let's take an example for كيف كيف is used in many questions but the most common one that you use it when you first see your friends is How are you? How are you means كيف حالك؟ كيف حالك؟ When you are address when you are addressing a male. كيف حالك؟ كيف حالك؟ When you are addressing a female. Let's revise what we took today. What? ما or ماذا؟ Who؟ 
من why لماذا where أين and the last one is how كيف but when you want to use it for to ask about the quantity, age, or price, you use chem. Now, I want to give you a small quiz. Try to translate these two questions. ماذا تفعل؟ أين الكتاب؟ I know you can do it. We reached the end of our episode today. In the next episode, we are going to learn how to describe different people. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. If you have any question, drop it in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and see you again. Bye!